Hello friends, today we can discuss this question from the code name longest valid parenthesis. In this question you are given a string containing just the characters opening brackets and closing brackets. You have to find the length of the longest valid well formed parenthesis substring. So in this example as you can see this is the valid parenthesis sequence so the answer is 2. In this this is the valid parenthesis sequence so answer is 4. Let's see it with more examples and we will solve this question first by using a stack in this video when I will also upload a video solving the same question using dynamic program. So stay tuned and you will also can see how we can solve this question by dynamic program also. Okay. So we can solve this question for this three test cases. So what we can do is we can initialize a stack with minus one and we can move our pointer. So let's assume we take i and our i start from here. Then what we can do is because if we encountered a closing bracket, we can pop out the element from here. So let's take the example with this only. We start with the first element. Because it's a closing bracket, we pop it out. Now, as you pop it out, there is no elements in the bracket. So we insert the index of this element in the in the stack. So the index is zero. So we insert zero. Now, whenever we encounter an opening bracket, we push back its index. So its index is one. We push back one. Now, okay. Then we again encounter a closing bracket. So when we encounter a closing bracket, we first pop out the top element. So while we are pushing out a top element is that because when we close a bracket it closes the the opening brackets so because this is a sequence of opening brackets it closes it closes it out so we delete this and now because this is complete what is the last complete sequence starts it starts from zero so because the stack is not empty we take a maxi variable which stores the maximum of the whole sequence initially it was 0 now the index of this are i at this position because we have closed we have taken it out this element so our i at this position so we take i minus the index of the top the last remaining in the stack it's 0 so 2 minus 0 it's 2 so the maximum become 2 as you can see this is a 2 value string a two size valid parenthesis. Now our i move to this position. Our index is 3, it's opening, we push back. Now because we again encountered a closing, we remove this and now our top is again 0. So our i is at 4. So 4 minus 0 our top is 4. So it is greater than and our max updated and we encountered an opening. So we push this index which is for 5 and we come out of the loop and our max is 4. Okay. So now let's do it for another example and it will be more clear. So there are two closing brackets. We initialize it with minus 1 because it's a closing bracket we pop the out the element. We pop it out and because there is no element to match with this because there is no element in the stack right now we push the index of this bracket only which is 0 now we come to 1 because the closing bracket we pop it out and still there are no element so we pop its index 1 now we come to our opening bracket it become 2 and become 3 so our maxi remains unchanged which is 0 and as you can see there is no valid parenthesis in this and same for this the last one we can start with minus one we push back this opening so we push back the index of the opening one it's zero again opening it's one then closing so because it's a closing we, we pop out the top element 
and our max a is at zero initially. And now our i is at this position, which is zero one two two minus zero. It's two. So our max a updates to two. Then it's an opening. We push back its index, which is three. So then there's a closing. We pop it out, and we our index is at four. So four minus zero, it's four. Now our index is at five. We are again popping it out because so we pop out zero, and the remain is minus one. So five minus minus one, it becomes six. That's why we pushed minus one in the start. To accomplish this whole, so that's how we come. The maximum is six. I hope you understand the logic. So let's quote this question. We make a stack. Name it T. We push back. We push because in stack we push. We push minus one. And then what we can do is we initialize maxi, which is our max of the whole string. Zero. We do a for loop from i equal to i is less than end of s dot size i plus plus. Okay. So if s is an opening bracket, our just main task is s t dot push. The index of this, which is i. As what we have to do is we first have to pop out the top element, t dot pop. So if t is empty now, if t is empty, we have to t dot push the index. Else, what we have to do is we found the maximum max t equal to max of max t comma I dot t dot top, and we have to return max. Let's run this code. It's giving the right answer. So it's accepted. It's giving ninety five percent because it's the slow one. I hope you understand the logic. If you still have any doubts, please mention down in the comment box. I'll try to rectify it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next. Bye.